Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be unboxing my latest haul from Erin Condren. So today is academic planner launch day as well as monthly, the new monthly planner launch today. And so I haven't been using the monthly planner, but of course I use my academic planner. And so I went in and grabbed another Star Wars academic planner and I'm really excited to show y'all um, what I got. I'm also gonna move in early in this video just to make it a bit of a lengthier video. Um, I also picked up some accessories, so I really wanted to show y'all everything. Very excited for this. If y'all haven't already seen the academic video um, collaboration that I did, I think it was shared yesterday. I have a giveaway, so I'm giving away an academic planner in that video, so make sure to check that out. It's the video before this, and I'll have it linked below. But let's look at what I got because I'm so excited to share this with y'all and move in early. So... I'll start with the accessories. So none of these are new, but I never got the sticky note um, ball and I'm really excited to actually try this out. We'll open this up. I really wanna use this in my new planners. I also just got a refill of the sticker pack trio. So these are my favorite sticker sheets. Um, I just love how functional they are. I probably should have gotten two, but it's fine. And then I got another set of the um, sticky note set. So I have two, but I just wanted to grab another one um, generally when I get planners, I get stuff specifically for like that planner. So I plan to just use all of these in this planner. Um, I also got the snap in dashboard. I just grabbed everything essentially Star Wars on the shelf and I'm really going to use this as a bookmark and then I'm going to, I don't like using dry erase markers on these boards in my planner. Um, I just use these to store, uh, sticky notes. So when I picked this up, I was like, oh, this would be great if I could just store my sticky notes on here. So I'm going to use this as like a bookmark and a sticky note holder. So we have that. And then in the Erin Condren stores, they have Paper Panda stickers. And so I got these workout icons. I have the flight and another set. I can't remember. Oh, and the to-do or assignment ones. And so I love these little workout ones. So I picked that up. I love Paper Panda and so happy that they sell them in store so I can easily grab them. And then those were the accessories. So I got 20% off because I got four and then I got an academic planner. So this is the brand new special edition metallic Millennium Falcon Academic Planner. I was trying to think of it, so I got the exact same uh, name listed. This is the um, newest Academic Planner, and I'll I'll do a quick flip. Again, I have a full flip on that other video, um, but we're gonna be focusing on moving in early in here. But y'all look at this cover. They didn't have the new vegan leather covers in store, um, so I got this one in the collaboration, and it's the Darth Vader. I also saw there's like a New Hope style one. I really wanna get that, probably maybe on a notebook if it's an option, since I got this one. But I, you got that black coil, and it looks so beautiful. I love how this looks, because like the colorful tabs, goes so well with the colors in here and the black just this is a star wars planner and so i'm absolutely in love with this planner and can't wait to set it up with you guys so i'm going to use this planner for development and training i've uh, used one before so i am I'm currently transitioning into a different career field that more aligns with the research and work that i'm doing for my doctoral program and uh, with that, there's a lot of trainings that I want to take and do on the side. It's also an individual contributor role, so um, I don't have a team. I essentially have like less overall responsibility, so I actually have more time to focus on like trainings and certifications and learning things outside of work. So I'm going to be using that to track everything. I'm also probably going to keep some school things in here, but I really think I'm gonna use my other academic planner for that. I really want this to focus on training and development just so I have a spot for it. So that's how I'm going to be using this planner. Um, because it's a 12 month planner, I am, again, moving in early with you guys in this planner, but it's gonna be a little bit different than I normally do it because um, none of the dates in the back essentially line up or match up. So we'll have to get a little creative. But yeah, just to show y'all a quick flip of this planner. Because again, I have a full flip I went through month by month in my academic planner video. So if y'all want to see a full flip, 
um, with first impressions that is um, I'll have that video linked below as well as um, of course links to everything I don't know if I've mentioned that yet but this planner is just well done you guys it's absolutely beautiful I'm like if you're a Star Wars fan I think this is incredible I've been talking to a lot of people on Instagram who said you know they're getting it for their kids who love it um, or like their husbands or boyfriends and I showed my husband um, when he woke up and I was like look at how cool this planner is and he even said like if he was a planner like he would of course obviously use this one but yeah this is y'all just amazing and all of the detail in this planner is incredible I just y'all it's it's a beautiful planner so yeah we have that and the stickers in the back are probably the best thing Aaron Condra needs to sell these separately so I can get more but you have Star Wars stickers too in the back and I just you know I'm just obsessed with everything um but of this planner but yeah that is the new planner and so we are going to move in early and I'm really wishing that I got today dots but it's okay we're going to do this the easy way and we're just going to use the pen method with white out so this planner starts in August there's three different start dates you can get August September or a 2023 planner and then we're probably going to move into I kind of want to just do June to make it easier because in the dates don't line up with um the current dates that we're moving into and because it's a 12 month planner it's kind of trickier to move into this so typically I get an 18 month planner and those additional months would um, line up with the exact dates of the current month that I'm moving into so we're just gonna do simple light out and we're gonna get started so we're just gonna take over June so at least that matches and put in the correct dates so we'll take out 2023 and then we're just gonna white out all these little dates and we're just gonna write it in again just keeping it simple so I'm gonna go through and do that and then I'm gonna do it for um, the subsequent months as well Okay, so we have that. Let me adjust my camera. And I took everything out of its packaging so that way it was easier to um, use because we're gonna set it up just a little bit. So I'm probably gonna use these flags, I'm sorry, stickers to mark a few things. So I'm gonna start, or mark when I write, when I write, oh my God, why can't I talk today? I'm going to mark when I start my new job. So let's put that in here. And I think I just now realized my plan with me is scheduled for Wednesday, so for tomorrow. And I haven't announced it, so I am getting a new job. I'm going into more detail on my plan with me tomorrow. Uh, but I put in my two weeks notice. Uh, I'm filming the same day that this is going up. So I put in my two weeks notice yesterday and I waited to do the plan with me until after I did the notice so the internet didn't know before my job. Um, yeah, I'm starting a new role and it's going to start here and I'm very excited, very much looking forward to it. And then actually what I should have done is like one of these big boxes. Let's actually do that. So maybe we'll do, I think I'll mark, so today I'm going to sign up for a program called Code Academy. So I'll mark when I do that. And then I'm gonna use, let's see, we got Han and Chewy in this month. So we're gonna use the Millennium Falcon and mark my first day of my new job here. And then while I was, uh, and that's a perfect fit. Um, while I was um, putting everything in, um, I decided to, oh, but you know what the cue is putting this in here because 
it matches. Oh, it's fine. I have, I have plenty of opportunity to match things. Um, but anyways, as I was saying, I'm also going to use this as a reading tracker because there is a lot of like supplemental reading that I'm using for, or I'm, I'm reading for my dissertation because really all of this is to help me with, maybe not help, but all of this is, you know, just to conduct more research, learn more for both work and for my dissertation and my, um, research topic of interest. And so I've decided, I think I'm going to use the projects and exams as a, um, list of all the books that I'm reading throughout the month. Um, because I could put, you know, the title, the author, and then maybe like some keynotes here, anything that, um, like if I want to have a read by date or if I'm reading something for a, like a paper or anything for class, I could put that in, but I think that's how I'm going to use this. And I think we're going to use a sticker. I just don't know which one, maybe this one and mark that. Well, that's a little big. We'll save that one. Or I could just put the trainings in here as well. I don't know. Again, I haven't fully decided. I could also put the books in here and just mark that and then go into details with the classes that I'm taking so I know um, what's going on in each. I actually might do that. So, yeah. Again, kind of just figuring this out on the fly. But here's the previous week. I am going to backdate because I did start reading a book last week. But I'll do that a little bit later. Here is the new bookmark that's also going to be my placeholder and then we're going to place sticky notes on here so that way I can easily um, reference them. I don't like using dry erase and I just I would rather like use my sticky notes right and then put them in here so I can see them and that way they stay with everything. So for this week I'm going to be signing up for Code Academy and then I'm actually going to create my list now that I have this planner set up, so I'm going to be doing some research on different um, projects that I want to work on. So, as I mentioned, I put in my two-week notice here. So, my last day is here and my first day is here. So, I have a full week off. I did that because class ends this week. So, I can finish up my paper, like my final paper for class. But then I can also really focus on... Um, getting like preparing for the new role because there are a few things that I just want to like brush up on and a few skills that I want to learn and so I'm going to spend this week um doing a couple projects around the house just because there's a lot of stuff that we need to get done but also I really want to focus on um like reading a few books and these programs and so this is I'm starting this at like the perfect time so um this is what this week will be dedicated to and then of course I'm going to prep content for you guys but yeah, we have that. Here is what this currently looks like. Let's grab some fun stickers and let's see. I don't know what I want to use. So what I could do, since I want to use this for a reading, I could do like books in this section, to do section of course, and then information about trainings here and organize it that way. And that actually sounds kind of fun. Um, I wish there was yellow on here so I could actually like match up by the color, but we'll get a little creative. Let's do green, this little R2. And I'll put that on Monday for currently reading. And then I can't remember who it's by, but I'll put his name in there once I'm done. And then for Code Academy, I'm signing up for this. And then we have, let's see, there was another one. But I think these are all a part of it. So um, this is the one that I'm signing up for. And I'm really looking forward to it and starting it right away and then I'll like plan out everything once I actually sign up but yeah I really like this and really like having a space for everything because it'll be nice to just be able to come in and track progress and like go back and see like when I took notes and whatnot 
Um, I wish the store had the option for the <laughs> academic planners with additional notes because then I could have taken notes in here as well, but that works. Oh, actually, I could do that because there's four note pages in the back. I might take notes in here as well, and that way it's all together. So we'll do that, but yeah, for now, um, I know it's not much, but this is the current setup. And then that is everything that I purchased at Erin Condren. And that is going to be it for this video. If y'all have any questions, please feel free to let me know. And thank you guys so much for watching.